I'm Sean Rakowski, General Manager, Independent Record Pressing. Uh, we've been independenting since uh, February of 2015. That's when we got into the building here. All the presses uh, arrived in February of 2015, and we started pressing our first record in August of 15 and started shipping in October of 15. We had six Hamilton presses that were built in the late 70s, early 80s. In fact, the guy that uh, him and his family built them back then uh, came out of retirement, helped set this plan up and get it started. And then we purchased some new presses from Viral Tech up in Canada, and we've been phasing those in over the last, uh, last year. We don't do any of the plating here. Uh, so what happens is when a label wants to do a record with us, um, they'll send the, um, the lacquer out to one of our, the plating facilities we use. We use a few different ones. Uh, one of them's right up here in New Jersey, uh, Mastercraft. So we'll get stampers, and what we'll do then is we will do a test pressing, which is about 10 to 15 records. Uh, we'll do a test on it, and then we send out to the label for approval. And then once it's approved, then we schedule it in, and we just we put on the press and we start uh, we start running it. And then uh, we have a quality control process. Someone goes through and listens to the records every every 20 minutes or so. They're going through and checking uh, all the records, lead ins, lead outs. If there's a problem, we isolate it, try to figure out what the you know where the problem is, what what's causing it, and then rectify it, and then start again. And then we have another quality process where someone's looking at each of the records, make sure the labels are on correctly, the right labels are on the right record, all that stuff. There are so many uh, points where things can get go wrong. And some of them are in your control, some of them aren't in your control. From the way it's mixed, to the way it's cut, to the plating, to the raw material, to the inside temperature, to the outside temperature, to your process piping to your raw material. There's no magic bullet. Um, there's not one thing when you, as you're pressing a record and you're like, oh, this doesn't sound as good as a test pressing. It could be one of a bunch of different things and it's trying to isolate what those things are to, to get it right. We press a little bit of everything, but our range seems to be from hipster to warp tour. And it's great because a lot of the records that we press, I personally like. As a music fan, it's, it's cool to see some of the records that you love or are going to love being pressed. What I like about records is just the, the, the sort of level of focus you have to have when sitting down and listening to it. It's not like just putting Spotify on, which is great. I mean, I love Spotify, but you put it on and you just kind of, it's in the background. It's, it's elevator music. For me, I think the best thing to happen to vinyl has been the digital, has been the advent of digital. I actually don't think it would have would have come back to the degree that it has without the evolution of digital because music is such an emotional thing and I think people for the music that really connects to them still want something tangible and physical to hold and touch and, and kind of use as a way to identify themselves and with downloading and streaming at the uh, with its ultimate it, it's amazingly convenient but that physical that tangible aspect was completely stripped away and I think people miss that to a certain degree and so for your favorite records and your favorite artists having something to kind of hold on to is really important so I think vinyl is gonna just continue it, might not be at the same level uh, percent of increase that you've seen over the last few years. Um, I feel like it'll probably level out to a certain degree, but until another physical format or something that uh, has that same tangible feeling that vinyl has, I don't, you know, I think, I think it's gonna be around, continue to be around. It's the hardest thing I've ever done um, in 20, plus years of being in the music industry, it's definitely the hardest thing I've done. Um, and you sit back and you look and think, wow, if I knew all these things would have gotten into this out of the gate, if I knew, someone told me all the issues out of the gate, uh, probably not. But at the same time, you look back and you're like, I have no regrets, this is actually pretty cool. The fact that you know, I stop sometimes and have to take a look and say, wow, we've accomplished a lot in 
a few years.